welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Pow! Have you ever watched a horror movie and thought, what this needs is an interactive gimmick? This film is a detective story in which you are the detective. After all the clues have been shown, you will get a chance to give your answer. No, me neither. Watch for the werewolf break. This is The Beast Must Die, which takes the old trope of the world's greatest hunter. I was born a hunter. Gathering people at his remote estate and hunting them. The biggest game of all. And gives it a twist. Because one of you, sitting here in this room, is a werewolf. Tom has to find out which it is and kill them. The beast must die. I like this premise. I also like the fact that our suspects include Peter Cushing. The werewolf is a victim. Charles Grey. Satisfied? And a young Michael Gambon. And you think it is me? But there is a problem with the estate. Every inch of which has been electronically bugged. And he's not kidding. So, the whole area's covered. I can hear his heartbeats. Now, at the best of times, when you have your suspects in an enclosed space, it's not that hard to spot the werewolf because they'll be the one turning into a wolf. Somebody's been doing his homework. When you have a camera in every tree <laughs> and microphones literally poking out of the ground. Mike 87. How is it possible not to find out? Oh, you want me to tune in on your guests in bed? I'm no voyeur. Just a sensational call, because werewolves never transform at night when the moon is up. Computer identifies target as large four-legged animal. Weight 159 pounds. That's what I said. Uh, now would be the time to check the rooms to see who's missing. I don't know what you're planning. The whole surveillance thing completely defeats the premise of the movie. And it's not the only thing. Am I right, Doctor? Silver's supposed to be poisonous to the werewolf? So they pass around a candlestick. But nothing happens. Why not? When the essential element was missing, pollen has to be in the air. OK, firstly, you couldn't have mentioned that earlier? No. Secondly, are we really saying werewolves have hay fever? OK, now you've got the pollen, do you want to try it again? We went through that circus last night. Of course not. That would make sense. Before the night's over, I'll know exactly which one it is. No, you won't. But you really should. The movie has to work so hard against itself to prevent Tom from finding out something that should be so easy to discover. I don't have to take that kind of talk from you. The second night leaves us with two very clear candidates. So how does Tom handle them? And your resistance, or yours, is getting weaker. Shows what I know about hunting. I'd have locked them up, when clearly a tea party on the lawn is the only intelligent approach. If only I could believe it was a joke. But then, this whole world's greatest hunter thing really doesn't add up. <laughs> You're watching the world's greatest hunter failing to kill what is very clearly a slow-moving dog with a machine gun. Still, he gave that helicopter what for. This is the werewolf break. Made up your mind? Yes, I've decided I don't care. But I can reveal that, unbelievably, it turns out to be one of the two people whom it absolutely had to be. It all fits. But that's not the whole story, because despite inviting six people who could be werewolves, Tom never even considers the possibility that there might be more than one. Long story short, out of eight people, only three survive. The werewolf bit me. Make that two. Not a total success as a plan. Back, you're dead. Nor indeed as a film. Thanks for watching. 
What other interactive gimmicks would you like to see in horror movies? Let us know below and let us know what other films you'd like to see us review. Click here to watch more reviews, here to subscribe and click down the end for the Dark Corners mystery box of death. If that was dinner, I can't wait for the cabaret.